everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Sasha and today we're going to be talking about Inktober 2017. Inktober was an art challenge created by Jake Parker and the goal of the challenge is to create 31 ink illustrations um, during the month of October and for each day in October and he's included a prompt list of ideas for how to go about each day and um, I'm actually following a different prompt list. It's a witch prompt list, so I'm excited about that. And so today I'm just gonna go over some of the materials that I plan on using for Inktober and share them with you. And I'm gonna test each one of them out in one of my sketchbooks. And yeah, that's basically the plan. I hope I've gone over everything. <laughs> Um, yeah, so let's get started. So I originally intended to use this Moleskin um, watercolor sketchbook for Inktober, but um, I noticed that the if I was going to use it in portrait way, in the portrait like position, <laughs> um, the cover was actually going to hit the back of my tripod and um, yeah, I couldn't really film my videos that way, so I was like, hmm, I guess I can't use this, which sucks because I really wanted to use it. So instead, I'm going to be using um, this uh, Stillman and Burn sketchbook. It's still a watercolor sketchbook, and it's white and cold press paper. There's only 26 sheets, but 52 pages, so I might do some um, on the back. Of pages I'm not sure but yeah this is basically the sketchbook that I'm gonna be using and yeah however for my um, ink swatches and such I'm going to be using this Jane Davenport journal and it's a watercolor journal and um, I'm gonna be starting up some art journaling within the next few months and so that's why I got this, but it's also a perfect place to test out inks and stuff. Alright, so the actual tools I'm going to be using to paint with and draw with are these babies right here. So I've got two paint brushes that I'm going to use with my inks. And they look like that. And I have a um, Signo white gel pen. And that's ink, so that counts. And then I have this new addition to my pen collection, and I believe it's a zebra pen, and it's like a hard felt tip. And I've really been enjoying this pen. It's actually a lot of fun to use to ink drawings. And then my trusty old Micron in 05. And last but not least, one of my Kuratake uh, brush pens. So those are all my tools, and I'm going to start um, testing out the inks with my brushes. So first up to be tested are these three Higgins pigment inks, and I have them in green, carmine, and um, <laughs> this one, the logo and everything is kind of blurry and not really showing what the color is, but we're going to say blue. So yeah, let's test each one of these out and see how they look. Let's start with blue. All right. Oh, um, I also have this palette for, um, uh, for like putting uh, the inks in and diluting them with water and such, but I don't think I'm gonna be using it today because I'm just gonna go straight out of the bottle for the inks. All right. So, this one has a little um, pipette thingy. Let's just grab a little bit of the ink. Oh, that's really bright. I love that color. It's almost a cyan kind of color or a phthalo blue. Alright, let's move on to the green. Just gotta rinse out my brush. Look 
Oh, that's very rich. Such a rich color. Definitely going to enjoy using these. So, um, if you guys are participating in Inktober, let me know down below and link me to your Instagram or your YouTube channel or wherever you um, plan on putting your Inktober pictures for everyone to see, because I would love to see them. So, yeah. All right, now on to Carmine. Just shake that. And some of these inks I've never actually used before. Some of them are new to my collection and um, I'm excited to try them out. All right. Ooh, that's so vibrant. Wow. And I think these are light fast. I'm not 100% sure though, but I think they are. But I could be totally wrong. Never mind. Don't don't listen to what I say. <laughs> yeah, that's a very vibrant red. Whoa. Like, whoa. All right. So those three are done. They can just sit over here. And okay, next up, we have an ink that... Um, so this ink right here is called, I don't know how to pronounce it, but Rohrer's Antique Touche Crap Prot um, by, I guess, Rohrer and Klinger, Klingner and Leipzig. Anyway, <laughs> I actually um, got this ink off of eBay and I got it from a seller from Europe. I think it was Eastern Europe. And this ink is actually the same ink that Fran Nerd off of YouTube uses. And I love her illustrations and I love all the supplies she uses. And I was like, that ink just looks so awesome. I want to try it out and see what it's like. And so I got this huge bottle. I didn't realize it was so big when I was ordering it. But yeah, I got this huge bottle. And so I've never tried it before. I'm going to give it a shake. And I really don't know anything about this ink other than I wanted to try it. And so let's see what it looks like. Oh, and I think the color has a name. Um, yeah, but I can't see where a name is printed. But I think it had a name when I was ordering it. Oh wow, that is such a beautiful color. It's definitely a warmer red than the Higgins ink right here. It's definitely a warmer red to that. But wow, that's that's a really stunning color. I know a lot of people are just doing black and white inks for Inktober, but I'm totally going all out. I'm using color and I'm gonna go crazy with it. <laughs> so, um, alright, so this next ink is um, a calligraphy ink. It's an older one. It's by Windsor and Newton and it's for fountain and dip pens and it's in green and it was given to me by my friend um, Ink Tangles. I don't know if you know her channel on YouTube but she is an amazing artist and you definitely have to check her out. But yeah, she's a friend of mine in real life and um, when she was moving she gave me a few things. So kind of her. <laughs> and this was one of the things. And so, yeah, let's try this one out. Oh, and I think this one's kind of shiny. Like, I think it's like iridescent, kind of. Or not, is it? I can't really tell. Maybe I'll be able to tell when it dries. But yeah, one of the inks, at least one of them that she gave me, but it actually dried out, um, was iridescent. So, but yeah, that's a really lovely green. Very awesome. All right. On to the next one. So, I have this, um, um, Daler Rowney. Uh, white acrylic artist ink and I'm not going to test it out because it obviously won't really show up well on white paper and I mean it's white ink. You get the idea. <laughs> I don't usually use white inks but I have it here if I need it 
So, yeah. So my next ink is actually the Winsor & Newton Gold ink, and this stuff is gorgeous. So, um, it has this problem though where, um, you can see here, all of the um, pigment or gold stuff is down at the bottom, so you have to shake it. But um, the thing is, you have to shake it quite frequently if you're um, going to dip out of the bottle and apply it to the paper because it settles super, super quick in the bottle and you have to keep shaking it. So the trick that I've come up with is I actually put a little bit of the gold ink into this palette here and every time I use it, I just mix it a little bit with my brush instead of having to like reshake the whole bottle every time. When it's in the palette, it's easy to just mix it up again and use it, use it from the palette. So it's just a little tip if you guys need it. All right, so let's try this guy. And like I said, this gold is absolutely stunning. Like, I'm in love with it. It's, it's just as shiny, in my opinion, as the Fine Tech golds. But you do have to apply um, a few layers of it. So I'll just apply the layers, and then I'll get back to you. All right, so I actually decided it's going to take a while for this ink to dry and for me to keep applying layers to it. So I'm just going to continue on with the rest of the colors and let that dry and then hopefully at the end if I remember I will be able to show you how beautifully gold it is once I've applied more layers. So I'll just put this one away to the side and there we go, there we go. Alright, so the rest of my inks are actually all Liquitex inks, and they're acrylic inks, and they are really, really awesome. I used a lot of these last year, but I got a few new ones to add to my collection. Oh, and I should show you the bottles. This one is Thalo Cyanine Green Blue Shade. Just shake that guy up. And... Make sure my brush is clean. And I guess I'll just grab some of this ink. Oh wow, I dipped my paintbrush in way too far. <laughs> so this is really, really green. And it's kind of similar to the Higgins ink over there. Kind of similar shades. But it's still a lovely color. Maybe not as intense as the Higgins color, though. Alright, next up we have Turquoise Deep. So I'm expecting this to be a bit more blue. Yeah, that's definitely more blue. I love this color. This is one of my favorite colors. And for those wondering, my favorite color is actually red. <laughs> Not that it really matters, I guess, but yeah. What's your favorite color? Tell me down below. This is a lovely color. So beautiful. All right, so next color we have is um, Deep Violet. These lids are kind of tough to get off. All right. Oh, that's such a lovely color. I know I keep saying that about every single color, but I love color. I'm a color appreciator. <laughs> I love rainbows. I love anything like bright and crazy colors. All right, so that's kind of a pink pinkish purple. So next up we have something that looks a lot pinker than that, and it's Quinacridone Magenta. Oh, this lid is tough. Got it. 
All right, so I'm kind of just dipping into the foam at the top because um, I don't want to dip my whole brush in there. Yeah, this is definitely more pink. And super vibrant. Love it. Oh, um, I just started uploading videos to Vidme. It's a website kind of like YouTube, but um, a bit different. <laughs> Which, um, yeah. So I've decided to start uploading videos there because YouTube, you know, I just feel like you can't really trust them not to demonetize videos and just um, maybe even delete videos. I don't know what's up with them, but a lot of creators have been having some trouble with YouTube lately. And so, yeah, I decided to hop on over to Vidme and start uploading videos there. I will still be uploading to YouTube, don't worry. But, um, yeah. Uh, follow me over there because I'd really like to hit 50 um, followers because then I can apply to be sort of like a verified account and then um, I don't have an upload limit so because I have a weekly upload limit and so if I become verified or whatever um, I can upload as much as I want and so yeah if you guys could follow me over there I'll link it below in my description, but I would appreciate it so much and if you have an art account on Vidme I'll probably follow you back. So yeah um, All right, so up next is Naf Naphthal Crimson This is what it looks like and this is one of my new guys And I absolutely love this color and I can't wait to use it more. I used it on as like the blush on a girl that I drew on um, Instagram. You can check it out there. And yeah, I really love how the color um, flowed and, and it was just so beautiful. <laughs> and so vibrant. I just love it. And as I said, red's my favorite color, so... Definitely have an appreciation for this one. Alright, up next is Vivid Lime Green. And as you can tell, that's like a neon green. But it's a fabulous color. Alright, kind of hard to unscrew, but there we go. Oh, I'm getting stuff all over my sketchbook, I don't know how. Oh, it's kind of, um, I might still have a little bit of red on my brush because I'm getting kind of a brown color. But yeah, it's actually a very vibrant green, greenish yellow. There we go. Alright, and my next two are new as well, and they are the Liquitex Muted Colors. I think they're limited edition, and there's like five or six colors in the collection, and they're just muted tones. And there's this um, muted gray, and it um, is actually more of a gray-purple color, and this is a muted green. So let's try the muted gray first. And shake, shake, shake. There's the bottle. Oh wow, <laughs> look at that vibrant color. It's awesome. Oh, that's just lovely. I love muted colors and I love bright colors. They're just all gorgeous. Like I can imagine doing some foggy backgrounds with this. And yeah, I think it would look amazing.
All right, and then next up is the muted green. There's the bottle. Ooh, that's a really nice green. It's different from my other greens because, you know, it's more muted, darker. Definitely a lovely color. Now, I realize I have not tested these out for you guys. I just realized that. So, um... Yeah, I'll test them out and show you the different line widths and everything that they produce. So, first we have the Kuretake brush pen. I think it's the number 8 brush pen, but I could be wrong. It's been a long time since I ordered it, but I got it off of jetpens.com. So, here is this brush. You can get fine lines and thick lines. I don't, I'm not very good at the brush pen though, like I have a hard time controlling them, especially the um, Pentel pocket brush pen. I have no idea how artists do it, like Audre Claire, that girl is amazing with it. <laughs> but um, yeah, I definitely need more practice, that's for sure. Um, I think this is the Zebra pen by, I think it's by Kuratake, Kuratake, I don't know how to say that, obviously. <laughs> But yeah, it's just a felt tip and you can get a thin line and then you can press more to get a thicker line. And then I have my 05 Micron. That's just kind of a uniform line. And you can, um, you know, add more to it like very precisely to get really precise lines. And so I really enjoy this one. And then this is my Signo white gel pen, and I think it's the fine pointed one. But yeah, you can just um, draw over surfaces and you get some white ink. So, something new that I got this year, actually I got really recently, <laughs> are these Jane Davenport um, mermaid markers. They're filled with a dye-based ink, and um, they're not light fast, but they look super fun, and I was so excited to get them, and um, they're gonna, some of this stuff is actually gonna appear in a haul video that I'm gonna do soon-ish. But yeah, these um, have like skin colors right here, um, pinks, and red, and uh, just, all the colors, uh, I just love it. I'm like so in love. I have not tried them yet, but I've seen lots of YouTube videos of people trying them and they look amazing and they're bright and they're just awesome. So let's test them out. All right, so I took the little yellow protector ring off of all the brush pens and I squeezed until all the ink came to the tip of the pen and yeah. So let's try them out. This one's called Starfish. Oh, that is like a hot, hot pink. Wow. That's almost um, fluorescent. <laughs> I'm really excited to use these in some artwork. All right, and next we have um, Beach. This would be great for paler skin tones, which would be nice. And then we have Reef. Oh wow, the ink like shot everywhere. 
Ooh, that's a lot of ink. Yeah, some of them, when I was squeezing, um, some of them actually lit out droplets of ink into the cap. But yeah, this is actually a brownish color, which would be great for darker skin tones. I'll uh, use a brush and water it down a little so it's not as dark. But that's what it would look like. Oh, it still looks dark on the camera. Here. Just water it down a little so you can see. Because um, the good thing about these is you can use them kind of like watercolor and you just drop a few drop droplets into a palette and dilute it with water and um, yeah that's what I'm gonna do anyway and you can mix them that way and create new colors but yeah so that's my plan and then next up we have um, Siren which looks like a nice green Oh, come on ink, blow to the bottom. Oh, well, this is weird. I guess it has some sizing on the brush tip. Yeah, this is a weird brush tip. It's not, um, okay, now it's acting a bit more normal. Yeah, that is not smooth at all. Huh, weird. It's probably because I'm just using them, like, just starting using them now, but maybe if I, I can work it out, I don't know. But um, yeah, that's not a fun brush tip. It's kind of weird. Probably had sizing in it. But yeah, this is a lovely color. Next up is Blue Bottle. me think of like a cobalt blue. It's a nice color. Yeah. All right. Next is um so these are Jane Davenport Jane Davenport's um mermaid markers as I said before and this color is supposedly her favorite color. It's called Jellyfish, and it's kind of a purplish color. So let's see what that looks like. Ooh, that's really nice. Quite like that. And I'm trying to avoid the splatters of brown that happened, sadly. <laughs> that's a really nice purple. And next up, we have Seaweed. I love this color. Such a bright green. Love it. <laughs> and I'm sorry the swatches are so small, but I'm running out of um, room on this page. And I wanted to keep them all on one page. So this is Lobster. Ooh, that's nice bright red. Very cool. I like that one a lot. And then next up is Deep Sea, which looks kind of like a dark blue. And I'll dilute that with a bit of water so that you can see the color a bit better. Oh, it's actually more of a purple. It's hard to tell though, sometimes it kind of looks bluer on the camera, but it looks more purple in person. But who knows, sometimes people say things are blue and I think they look purple, so it could just be my eyes. Yeah, I really like this color. It's a great color. And then next we have Pirate's Gold, so I'm expecting a more yellow gold color. We got another one of these funny uh, brushes. There we go. It's kind of 
kind of more of an orange from what I can tell. But I like it. This one is Byron Bay. And since Jane's from Australia, I can't help but wonder if this is a place in Australia. Ooh, this is such a pretty color. I love it. It's like a tealy blue color. Beautiful. I'm gonna have fun with that color. And last but not least is coral. Oh, that's an interesting color. I would say that's coral. I was expecting more of a pink, but this is like a reddish pink, kind of. Very nice. I quite like this color. And I think that's all of my supplies for Inktober. Um, so my plan is to upload a video every day of Inktober. I did that last year and it was really, really hard. <laughs> But um, that's my plan, but I'm not sure if I'll actually succeed because my sketchbook is a lot larger and the drawings might take longer. But um, at the very least, I'd like to post one video a week, but if I, if I manage to get more than that, that would be awesome. But my goal is a video every day. I don't know if it'll happen, so don't hold me to it. <laughs> But um, yeah, that I think is all of my supplies. I feel like I'm forgetting something, but I guess, yeah. Oh, I was gonna show you the gold. That's what the gold looks like after a few layers. So yeah, and I really hope you enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for more Inktober vids and um, be sure to like and subscribe. And yeah, uh, peace out.